Joe Burrow and the Bengals continue to reaffirm that they will be a factor. This team was done in many people's minds at one and three. Could they be playing any better right now? This is a top tier team when Joe Burrow is healthy. And they're back. They're totally back. Bengals are back. The Bengals are red hot as Zach Taylor's crew is riding a four-game win streak, aiming for their second straight AFC win. Welcome in to Bengals Weekly. I'm Marissa Contepelli. The Bengals are back as they look to get back in the win column again this Sunday against Houston, having won their last six games in the month of November. So as we get you set for kickoff at Paycor Stadium against the Texans, Shiesty was on the mic. And we'll take you down to field level and inside QB1's helmet as Joe Burrow was mic'd up against the Bills. The tight ends balled out on Sunday night, and we'll sit down with the group to take you behind the stripes. And on Countdown, I'll tell you how Joe Burrow has been one of the best in the league during this win streak. But first, the jungle was striped out as Zach Taylor's group came out firing on all cylinders. The Bengals took an early 7-0 lead over the Bills and never looked back. Bills are 5-3, and three. Bengals 4-3. and three. Maybe some playoff implications for what happens tonight with the Bills and the Bengals from the jungle. So everybody watching us, man. Play ball. Have fun, man. Uh-oh. Know what time it is. Oh, oh. Oh, like oh, like Sunday oh, night, man. Be legendary, win on three, one, two, three, win. Bengals go empty on first and goal from the seven. Throws it into the back left corner Boom. of the end zone. Boom. Caught. Yeah, yeah, great oh. throw, baby. Oh. Yeah. And there goes Diggs through the secondary. Stefan Diggs running with purpose all the way to the 36-yard line. Allen fakes it, pumps it. Runs it in for the touchdown. We go, y'all. Settle in. Settle in. Third and ten. Bills bring the pressure. The throw by Burrow is perfect to Boyd. Right side. Burrow hands it to Mixon, Boom. and he will go flying Boom, into the end zone for a touchdown. And here comes the jungle jump. Deep J readers. Always going to have a problem, even if your best player is out here on Trey Henderson. Josh Allen catches. Oh. Engulfed inside the 10. Yeah. Sam Hubbard and BJ Hill sack him at the 8. Ten. Bengals just rushing three. Allen picked off. Cam Taylor Britt. Cam Taylor Britt, they had a plan. They thought he was going to have a significant role, and I think we're starting to see it. It's fourth down and one. Burrow wants to pass. He throws. The slant is caught. Jamar Chase with a first down. Under pressure, dumps it nice. off short. Caught. Drew Sample has a first down to the 10. The nice. five yeah. toward the pylon. He's in. Left in regulation, Cincinnati's lead is 11 points, but Buffalo's getting close to the red zone. Now backing up into the gun, first and 10. Over the middle, caught by Kincaid. Whoa, Loses out. the football, scooped up by the Bengals. Ah, 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 ah. Eight-two touchdown. Allen, look to the end zone for the touchdown. 
Stephon Diggs, and the Bills stay alive. Bengals looking at third down and four. If they get the first down, they win. Hand it to Mixon. Gets away from an ankle tackle. Running toward the first down marker. He's got it. Wow. And that is Coffin Nails. Bam, bam, bam. Well, we aren't done reliving the exciting Sunday night win over the Bills. When we return, we take you inside the helmet of QB1 as we had Joe Burrow mic'd up against Buffalo. Bengals Weekly is brought to you by Alta Fiber, proud to be the official internet provider of the Cincinnati Bengals. Paycor, proud to be the official HR software provider of the Cincinnati Bengals. And Kettering Health, the official healthcare provider of the Cincinnati Bengals. The feds seem to always show up at our games, and this time they bugged the pads of Joe Burrow. Let's now head down to field level as QB1 was hot on the mic in the win over Buffalo. We gotta be great today. We gotta be great today. Joe Burrow finally healthy and at his very best. The atmosphere is incredible tonight here in Cincinnati. Here we go. Here we go. We gotta go. Why did he? Why did he? My touch. Burrow back to throw, steps up in the pocket, gets away from a possible sack, throws, caught, Higgins down the sideline. Right side. Short drop, throws it into the back left corner of the end zone, caught by Irv Smith Jr. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Yeah, Irv. Yeah. Great oh. route, baby. Great route. Unbelievable. Turbo side. Third and four. Burrow trying to escape, trying to get the first down, and he will. Across the 20 for the 22 yard line. First down, brother. Throws it on the field. It is caught by Tyler Boyd. Right side. Burrow hands it to Mixon, and he will go flying into the end zone. Touchdown as the Bengals have gone back in front. Great call, great call, great call. Come on, defense. Shotgun snap, Allen to throw, fires a strike, intercepted! Cam Taylor Britt picks it off! Gotta go score right here! In the key moments, it has been oh. Joe Burrow oh. getting it done. We're good! Right 80! Right side! Burrow pressured, releasing late is Drew Sample for the first down! And Sample's got a touchdown! <laughs> yeah! Big time f***ing play, Drew, big time. On to a field goal, D. Let's go. Looking left. Throws over the middle. Caught by Kincaid. Loses the football. Scooped up by the Bengals. It's a takeaway. Let's go, baby. Let's go, it's up bro. to us. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Let's go. A chance to hold the ball for the rest of the game and win by six. Right side. Burrow back to pass. And firing left side. Complete to Tyler Boyd. Gain of 32. Let's go, TV! That's what you can talk about. We've got two minutes to go. If they get the first down, they win. Turbo shot! Hand it to Mixon. Gets away from an ankle tackle. Running toward the first down marker. He's got it! And that is Coffin Nails! We got it, baby. Oh, you gotta let it, Shice Steve! We're just gonna keep getting better. You banged up that finger, everything okay? Yeah, just a little scratch. That's football, baby. Cincinnati Bengals are 5-3 and three as they beat the Bills at Paycor Stadium 24-18. They're known for doing the dirty work and being some of the most versatile players on the field. Yet a tight end doesn't always get the credit that they deserve. After Sunday's performance with the tight end group combining for over 100 yards and two touchdowns, we had to show our guys some love. We now go behind the stripes with the tight ends. To achieve what others don't, you gotta do what others want. You gotta do the things that other people are just out of luck to do. Any given Sunday, we go out there and make plays. Caught by Irv Smith Jr. His first touchdown as a Cincinnati Bengal. Drew Sample for the first down, and Sample's got a touchdown! You never know who needs to step up. And last game, you know, we were a group that was called upon and, and we were able to step up to the moment. And that's what makes us difficult to play against. And how about the tight end position tonight? Six catches, 74 yards, two 
touchdowns. How about it? They're smart guys that are tough. They're old school. Like they'll go after guys. They'll play physical, and they'll know what they're doing. We have a great group of Drew, Mitch, Tanner, and with Coach Casey uh, leading the charge. I mean, it's, it's it's a blessing. That's all I do all day, every day is tight ends. So I watch tight ends. I think about tight ends all the time. Besides, you know, my family. But so I'm just constantly thinking about what we're doing, what our job is. And, how can I help these guys? You know, we're trying to be the best group we can be, and James, you know, does a lot behind the scenes to make sure we're prepared on game day. And 10 for 101 and two touchdowns, James Casey in the tight end room. Yeah. To be able for them to score a couple touchdowns like that to get as much attention and recognition was, was just, you know, that's, that's what you do for it. They want to learn from him. They, they trust everything he says is going to help them be a better player. I think he's helped every single tight end that's come through there reach their potential. You know, it's hard to imagine that there's there's one better than him. The tight ends are just, they're unbelievably unselfish people too. They want to win more than anything, just like everybody in the organization. The biggest strength of our room is just unselfishness and everybody being a dog. You can't just have them all be the same type of person, same type of player either. Our brains, athleticism, quickness, and he's just got a lot of energy, you know, he's just a great person. Drew's like an old school tight end. He's a big, strong, physical guy that plays, plays nasty on the field. Tanner's been amazing. He's fast, he can jump, he catches the ball really well. I was really happy for him to get those opportunities. Mitch is also Mitch is able to step up and, and play at any time. The fact that he's still here at year four is a testament to him and how hard he works. Doesn't matter who's in, we're obviously rooting for him. Whatever the offense needs, like we're willing to do it as long as it you know means we get to win games and hopefully go win a Super Bowl. We're confident in ourselves. We all we all know our abilities and what we specialize in. And you know, any given Sunday, we want to just be able to go out there and rely on each other, and depend on each other, because you know we're gonna need each other down the line. Last game, like you know, we get to enjoy it for a day, and then start tomorrow or start you know, this week. Now we're gonna be ready for for the Texans. We've kind of set the standard. You know, there's no reason why you can't be. We can't be really good and really successful every single game. Now it's just about keep that standard high. Coming up next, we preview Texans versus Bengals with this week's ruler of the jungle, Bob Trumpy. Welcome back to Bengals Weekly. He spent 10 seasons in the orange and black and remains the leader for receiving yards and touchdowns for a tight end in team history. Bob Trumpy was a two-time pro bowler and this week will be our ruler of the jungle. Trumpy now joins Dan Horde. Bob, the head coach for your first eight seasons in Cincinnati was one of the greatest leaders in NFL history, Paul Brown. Yes. What do you think of current head coach, Zach Taylor, and what do you think Paul would have thought of Zach Taylor? Paul was a guy who had already established this is the way you win in football. Uh, when they started moving me around, he was not particularly happy because to him, we looked like we didn't know where to line up. So when the transition went from that kind of football to the Bill Walsh uh, West Coast offense and succeeded, I thought that was a wonderful uh, transition for Paul to make to say, there's another way to play this game. And for Zach, I don't know where it's going next, where, where offense in the NFL is going next. But I certainly like last weekend <laughs> that the Bengals had four tight ends active. Yeah, <laughs> tight ends. <laughs> well, it's a great time to catch up for that reason, because not only did they have four tight ends active, but the tight ends were productive. Yes. With the trio of wide receivers that they have, how important is the tight end position in this offense? Uh, key. Uh, you see the guy in Kansas City, six, eight yards, you take it, tight ends can't be particular. Uh, if we get it for four, five, six yards, that's good. Shut up, go back to the huddle, you're the outlet again. And with the three wide receivers that they have and the attention that they get from defenses, you got a six foot, five inch quarterback looking over the defensive line, that tight end's easy to find. What do you think of Lou Anarumo? Uh, he's a magician. They give you one look, they, they show one defense, play another. I don't see anybody out of position. It, it's a deep, deep, it's a playbook, and it appears complicated, and everybody handles it beautifully. They play Houston this week. They've got a rookie quarterback out of Ohio State, C.J. Stroud. He's been spectacular. 
Any yeah. thoughts on Sunday's game? I love seeing these rookie quarterbacks have great starts. And, and the Bengals, they're difficult to deal with. I don't care who comes in here, uh, offensively and defensively. Uh, so I hope the best for the young kid, but next week, not this week. <laughs> I agree with you 100%. We look forward to you ruling the jungle. Thank you on very Sunday. much. I appreciate your time. My pleasure. This fall, the Bengals and Ohio Cat will be out at a different high school football game, cheering on our local teams throughout the season. Earlier this season, Hude and the Bengals Stripe Squad were out at Princeton High School as the Vikings hosted the Middletown Middies. Students and fans had the chance to win great prizes, including passes to attend a closed practice later this season. Rule your school and be on the lookout for Friday Night Stripes because the Bengals and Ohio Cat could be coming to your game next. Coming up next, it's time for the countdown, where I'll tell you how reliable Jermaine Pratt has been as the linebacker has been a big play machine. Bengals Weekly is brought to you by Betfred, the official sports betting partner of the Cincinnati Bengals, and your local Kia dealers. Visit Kia.com to discover movement that inspires. This Sunday is our Salute to Service game presented by Fiesel. Once again this season, the Bengals and Fiesel teamed up to give a new roof to a current or former service member at every home game. To learn more, visit Bengals.com slash Fiesel. It's shysty season in Cincinnati, as Joe Burr has been torching defenses since the Bengals won in the desert. And not only has Burrow been one of the best in the league since week five, but he's proven that he only gets better as the season progresses. Burrow holds the NFL's longest active streak with two touchdown passes in four straight games, as the Bengals have outscored opponents by 38 points in those wins. That's tied for third best in the league. Since week five, Burrow leads the NFL with 10 touchdown passes, a 111 passer rating, and over a 75 completion percentage. Last week also marked the fourth straight game where the Bengals scored a touchdown on their first offensive possession. And when the weather starts to cool off, that's when Burrow heats up. Since 2021, Joey B has a 14-3 regular season record in the months of November to January. That's second best among all QBs. In that span, Burrow ranks first in completion percentage, passing yards per game, and passing yards per attempt, and has the highest passer rating at a 104.2. Now another reason for the team's recent success has been ball security. The Bengals' plus seven turnover differential since week five is second best in the league. The Bengals have won the turnover margin in every win this year, as they are tied for the league lead in the turnover margin for the season and haven't had more than one giveaway in a game all year. And during this stretch, the defense has been firing on all cylinders. The Bengals haven't given up more than 20 points since week four and have done a superb job of closing out games. Since the start of 2021, Cincinnati is 21 and two when scoring first. No one in the league has been better. The Bengals 11 interceptions on the season is tied for second most in the league as Logan Wilson's three are the most among all linebackers. Cam Taylor Britt has three of his own, and that is tied for second most among all players who have played in eight games. Jermaine Pratt, meanwhile, has been a turnover machine for the Bengals. The forced fumble against Buffalo marked the fourth turnover Pratt has contributed to this season, with it being the third in the last four games. Since the start of 2021, Pratt is one of five players in the league with at least five forced fumbles and five interceptions. Contepelli's Countdown is presented by Betfred. And don't forget to visit kingofcincy.com for your chance to win an exclusive game day experience, prizes, and so much more. The Bengals and Betfred remind you to gamble responsibly. It's now time for this week's Kettering Health Fantasy Report. Joe Burrow led the way for the Bengals, capping off last Sunday's win with over 22 fantasy points, thanks to his 348-yard, two-touchdown night against the Bills. Burrow landed in the top 10 among all quarterbacks in Week 9. T. 
T. Higgins posted his best fantasy outing of the season after recording eight catches for 110 yards, totaling 19 points. Higgins also found himself in the top 10 among all receivers last week. And for the Texans, quarterback C.J. Stroud had a career day last week. The rookie threw for over 470 yards and five touchdowns against the Bucs, posting over 41 fantasy points and finishing as the top overall fantasy performer for the week. Thanks for tuning in to Bengals Weekly. Kickoff between the Texans and the Bengals is coming up. For Dan Horde and our entire crew, I'm Marissa Contepelli. We'll see you next week. Bengals Weekly is brought to you by Alta Fiber. Proud to be the official internet provider of the Cincinnati Bengals. Paycor, proud to be the official HR software provider of the Cincinnati Bengals. And Kettering Health, the official healthcare provider of the Cincinnati Bengals.